But yeah, let's talk about alcohol and how it affects vision. The effect of alcohol on your eyes and vision depends on many factors, including how much, how often, and even what you drink. It can have both short and long-term visual effects, including blurry vision, double vision, and dry eye. Even the occasional drink can affect your eyes in some way. So I'm not going to read this article word by word, but I am going to cover you know, each talking point. So this, at this point, they're going to talk about the short-term effects of alcohol on the eyes and sight. Bigger pupils and heavy drinking, essentially saying drinking large amounts of alcohol uh, may temporarily but significantly increase the size of your pupils. Uh, I didn't know that. Varies from person to person. Color vision impairment. Um, it says research has shown that color vision gets worse an hour to two hours after drinking alcohol. They did studies where people drank and did worse on color vision tests. That's interesting. Uh, double vision, blurry vision. Uh, we all know that if you have, uh, basically when you're hammered, you, you start seeing double. It says drinking alcohol can cause double vision. Uh, while double vision from drinking is a temporary effect, this is just one of the reasons that drinking and driving is so dangerous. And the number of drinks it takes to get to that level varies based on sex, weight, and other factors. For example, it may only take two drinks in an hour for a 100-pound woman to experience blurred vision or up to five drinks an hour for like a 240 pound man. Dry eyes, drinking causes dry eyes, I didn't know that. A large study investigating the effect of alcohol on dry eye disease found that women have a significantly higher risk of experiencing dry eyes compared to men. Uh, okay, it says drinking alcohol did not cause an, an increase in dry eye symptoms for men. Huh. Poor night vision in drinking. Uh, it says a journal of ophthalmology study found that night vision gets worse after drinking in both men and women. The more alcohol the subjects drank, the worse their vision became under low light conditions. They saw halos in starbursts that had difficulty seeing contrast and experienced longer recovery time after a bright light was shined in their eyes. You know what? That sounds like RP. <laughs> so for my listeners out there who want to, who don't have RP or, you know, vision loss, maybe to experience RP, maybe you just need to get blackout drunk. Nah, do not do that. I'm joking. That sounds like RP, you know. Yeah, vision became worse under low light. They saw halos and starbursts. I see those right now. You know, uh, for example, if you didn't know, I, I always have floaters and strobe lights going constantly. So, you know, I notice that when I drink, you know, I feel like I can see better. But I think that's not true. I think my brain is just uh, tricking me into thinking that I'm more relaxed, maybe. All right, now let's get into the long-term effects because these are like the real effects. So like the short term is just, you know, if you're an occasional drinker, uh, th that's what you're going to experience while drunk. That's fine. Every Everyone's going to have a drink. But the long-term effects of alcohol, so if you're, you know, abusing alcohol, uh, it's going to affect you in the long term, which I think is more important to focus on. Uh, so let's cover the long term effects. Since alcohol may also affect your eyesight in the long term, going beyond temporary symptoms to influencing your likelihood to develop serious eye conditions. I already have a serious eye condition, so I don't want any more. So it's here how alcohol will affect it. All right, first bullet point alcohol and cataracts. The risk of developing age-related cataracts changes based on the amount of alcohol a person drinks. An optometry and vision science study found that moderate drinking may have a protective effect against cataracts. Hmm. There you go. Moderate drinking can actually help you. So this is how complicated these studies can be. That same study also found an increased risk of developing cataracts among heavy drinkers. So those who drink more than two drinks a day. If you drink more than two drinks a day... Basically, what I'm telling you is you're increasing your risk for cataracts. You know, and as someone with RP, I'm already at risk for cataracts. Um, and I have a few actually in the premature stages or early, early stages. So that I actually have to monitor. So I already know heavy drinking is not good for me. Here's another reason for me to kind of monitor my alcohol intake. Moving on, alcohol and macular degeneration. There may be an association between increased alcohol consumption and a form of advanced age-related macular degeneration. However, simply reducing alcohol intake may not be enough to prevent that. Uh, more research needs to be done. Both of my grandfathers have 
uh, age related macular degeneration. I did a 23 and me test. They told me that I am highly likely to have that, uh, which essentially affects your central vision. So I got RP and then I have, uh, age related macular degeneration possibly coming up in the future when I'm old. So I think it's pretty safe to say that I'm going to be a blind old man. So got that to look forward to. And last but not least, it says heavy drinking and um, long-term alcoholism can cause optic neuropathy, which uh, means, you know, you're damaging the optic nerve, which connects the eye and the brain. Uh, So common symptoms of that is loss of visual acuity, reduced color vision, and your pupils responding differently to light. So I think it's safe to say that alcohol is not good for your body overall. Everyone knows that, but... Maybe you've been sleeping on how it affects your vision, you know, and as someone with RP, I like to know what's affecting my vision. And as someone who likes to drink, it's just nice to know what I'm putting in my body, like I said. So 